everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena and for today's video i am going to be reviewing these watercolor brush pens that i have picked up at five below really looking forward to that by the way if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already anyways let's get down to business all right so i've got my arteza watercolor sketchbook here it's got a flip to a blank page ah, there we are just be told this sketchbook it's almost about halfway full Pulling up faster than I thought it would, although about half of it is swatch pages. <sighs> Anyways, we've got three different sets. There's the rainbow set, the out of this world set, and the tropical set. So it, I got all of the sets that were available at the time. So um, let me just prep this, this uh, swatch page real quick. Um, ah, there we go. Much better. Anyways, I have used similar pens to these. Um, I've used the Arteza watercolor brush pens, which I really, really enjoyed. So I'm curious to see how these operate. If anything else, once I finally get my Arteza brush pens back out of storage I might even need to do a comparison video but anyways okay I think I've gone on long enough it's time to open up these suckers maybe Aha! whoa seriously what is it with these packages? Okay, well already it gets a minus one for irritating packaging. But, let's take a look here. Now then, these don't exactly, I mean, I, they, it, in the hand, it feels kind of, well, cheap but I'm gonna hold off judgment I mean like it's like the I, I like the tip the tip has a good brush to it so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on, on judgment until we actually try them out but I've got two more sets to free so give me a minute all right okay that was annoying I'm definitely not too fond of the packaging in fact I'm probably gonna see if I can get a different pencil box or something for these just because packaging yeah minus okay. that that's a minus one right there I do not like that packaging it was irritating but irritating packaging aside <clears throat> maybe not so much aside figure that for this I'm gonna try out the water brush that comes with the set even though uh, I'm not sure if you can really see that but that split tip okay yeah you can probably see why that's not exactly filling me with a whole lot of confidence but oh is that supposed to be like that gosh I hope so Okay, there we go. For the most part, it works. I know that tip is still kind of crunchier than I would like. Although here, that might have helped to straighten it out anyways. It's like dust all over the place. It's really annoying. All right, let's see how all these babies work. Well, it's like, well, I like the color. It's 
way uh, streakier than I would like, but let's see what happens once you add some water to it. Oh, there we go, that livened that up. However, that initial streakiness has me a little bit concerned. However, that was only one pen. We'll see how the next one operates. Okay, here's hoping this isn't going to be a regular thing with these. Beginning to see why they were only five bucks for the sets. You know what? I think that just through the magic of editing, I'm just gonna do all three sets at once. You know, it, it'll get done so much faster that way, you know? Alrighty, there we go. I, I have to say that I definitely think that some colors uh, were smoother than others. Um, and uh, yeah, like the, the streakiness, that, that bothers me a bit, even though as it dries with the water, some of that goes away. Keyword being some. So far, I'm not exactly terribly impressed. I was hoping for something a little bit better, but this is just the swatches. We've got to put these puppies to the test. We got to do an illustration. So while right now, I, I'm not exactly holding up high hopes for these, let's Let's give them a fair shake. They could surprise us all. So, what to draw? This is the problem when I film these things. I never think that far ahead. <laughs> give me a minute. Or 10. Or 20. Hey, after editing, it won't matter. Okay, well, um, 
A couple of things to bring up before I bring you back to your regularly scheduled review. Um, the boxes that these pens came in were driving me nuts, so I got this aesthetically appealing tin. Yes, I know that those aren't actually Crayola in there, but I like the tin, so there. Also, this thing. This kind of monstrosity of a water container was driving me insane while trying to film because it is just so big, fat, chunky, clunky. No, no, we, we eat that. I, I had to. I had to get two cups that were similar to the ones that I had to put into storage, and I'm a lot happier for it. By the way, there's the reference image I'm using. Pixabay is amazing. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, let's make this happen. I'm gonna try to sort out the colors I'll need. Okay, I know that that took way too freaking long. I think I've just about determined that I'm gonna need every single color in this set at one point or another. Or I should say sets, really, since these are three separate um, sets. I'm saying sets too much, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'll do. All right. I am hoping that since I did the swatching and got some ink flow, I am really, really, really hoping that these these pens will perform a little bit better than they did in the initial swatching process. I'm not holding my breath, but I can sure hope. gorgeous coloration on this bird. I've always loved parrots. They're, they're gorgeous animals. Gorgeous birds. However, I'm just not sure I'd want to own one, if that makes sense. Alrighty, so I am going to speed things up and I will give you my thoughts as they come, so stick around! Okay, so while the streakiness never fully went away, it got better with repeated use. Not 100%, but better. I'd probably be able to deal with it better if it was like one or two pens from only one of the sets, but each set had at least one problem pen, probably close to an average of two problem pens per pack. So it's not me, it's not bad luck, it's these cheap pens. The other thing is that once you get the ink onto the paper, it doesn't have a seamless melt. A seamless melting upon application of water would have saved these. Don't get me wrong, they're still usable. They still technically perform as advertised, it's just not as pleasant as it could be. I for one like my pens and markers to be nice and juicy. 
I live for that smooth ink flow. Sadly, these are not it. Now, what's something good about these? Time to look at the bright side of things. Well, the first thing I can think of is the price. $5 for a set of seven plus a water brush. You can't go wrong with a water brush. The other thing I do like are the outrageously bright colors. I've always enjoyed colors that make you have to shield your eyes. Okay, so once the ink is down and water is applied, it kind of goes where it wants to, which means a lot of bleeding. Once you get over the fact that it does what it wants when wet, the inks do blend together quite nicely. Overall, however, I think that I just had a too high of hopes for watercolor brush pens from a discount store. If you want to try these out for yourself, I'd recommend them more for sketches and casual work rather than fully finished pieces. Of course, if you have used these brush markers from Five Below before, share it with us in the comments. As always, you know, I like to hear what you guys have to say. Alright, so my overall thoughts on these watercolor pens, well, they're not, uh, I, I want to say that they're not half bad, although I wouldn't really call them the greatest either, however, I did at least have a fun time using them. Alright, so long and short of it, these art well, oh, I thought that said Art LOL at first, but I think it actually says Art 101. Huh. Well, shows you how much I know. <laughs> Anyways, I, I found these. They were, like, they, they were overall fun to use, even though the, the, the scratchiness, how, like, they weren't as juicy, shall we say, as the Arteza ones. While they weren't as nice and juicy, they, they were still usable. I mean, like you can obviously still create something with them, but they were also, they, they just weren't as good of quality, which, well, let's see here. It's $5 for a pack of seven. And when I got my Arteza brush pens, I think that they were around like maybe $12, $13 for a 12 pack. But they were just overall so much nicer. However, if you don't have access to that, and if you've got a five below right down the street, the, these, these can still be used. They can still be used. If I had to give them an overall rating, I, I'd say a, a six out of ten would be generous. Just because, again, minus one for the annoying AF packaging, and then just the overall scratchiness and not juiciness of the, the ink flow was frustrating. I mean, like, I was even doing this number, which I learned not to do with Arteza pens, with the Arteza watercolor ones. Same th technique I used to get ink flowing in my gel pens, and... It, it didn't work with these. It didn't work with these. So there's that to consider. However, I, I'm still really pleased with how this turned out. I mean, I, yeah, it's really messy and scribbly and scratchy, sketchy, but you know what? Sometimes I like that look. 
also don't mind my brother coughing in the background if you can hear that. You might be able to hear it in my voice, but uh, both got caught a little tiny bit under the weather, so to speak. Oy. But at least I can do this from home. <sighs> wow, that did not go as planned. Anyways, I certainly hope that you found this video helpful, educational, and above all else, enjoyable. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Honestly, I think that product reviews like this are my favorite thing to do on the channel. Also, on another little side note, one of the things I'd really like to achieve by the end of this year is 1,000 subscribers. I know, I know, getting into the big time. I wanna do the big time. So, you can help me out with that right now. You know you can, and it's free. I love having you guys here. And with that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye.